Oh my gosh, this is my first vlog. Uh, oh, do you call it a vlog? I don't even know. Is a vlog just like you doing stuff? Um, okay, you know what? Let me just start over with all of this. <laughs> We're just gonna try this out right now. So, hi, welcome. My name is Taylor, also known as Taylor with an E. I guess today I just kind of wanted to share with you all some exciting news. So, next month I will actually be moving to South Korea. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, I can't even begin to tell you guys how excited I am about this right now. It is something I have thought about for so long and am finally getting around to actually doing it. So, in February, I will be joining the EPIC program as an English teacher. So, you know, today is kind of like a two-part video. One, I wanted to share that news with you all. And two, I just kind of wanted to go over how I got to this point. I guess I first want to say this decision really isn't, you know, out of the blue for me. Well, this is something that I've wanted to do since college, but, you know, just for one reason or another, you know, something has been holding me back. I guess the biggest reason was my health because it was never really something I thought was in the realm of possibility for me. Something I haven't really shared with a lot of people is that I was actually diagnosed with ulcerative colitis back in 2011. And so for those of you who don't know what ulcerative colitis is, it's a chronic disease that affects the large intestine and causes all kinds of medical problems. And because it's chronic, there is no cure for it at this moment. So I know I'll be on medication for the rest of my life, or at least until they find the cure. With that in mind, I knew I need, would need to keep up treatments uh, wherever I was, or risk the chance of my condition becoming even worse. So I knew if I ever wanted to teach in South Korea, I needed my condition to be covered because that for me was my number one priority because if I didn't have my health, I don't think any risk I would take would be worth it. So for the longest time, I had been trying to research anything and everything that would give me some type of hope that if I moved to South Korea that my disease would be covered and would be treated and ideally I would be able to continue the same treatment I'm on here in the US but you know for years I never found that information there's really not a lot out there at least on the internet that really gave me hope that you know that I could actually do this and even more than that you know when I did my research people would comment on how I would never get accepted because I have this disease or they would automatically throw my application out because, you know, they just wouldn't want to deal with these factors. That's why, you know, I really never went back to it and I just kind of put it in the back of my mind even though it was something I knew I really wanted to do. So knowing that in my mind, I kind of made a plan for myself after college since Korea wasn't an option. I got a job, got some health care, you know, got the treatment for my disease that I needed and in the end I was hoping I would be able to make strides to move up in my career to the point where I would have enough money to travel and you know have enough time off to do that as well. I knew I kind of compromised. It wasn't exactly what I really wanted to do. And so as the years went by, I felt like I was becoming unhappier and happier with where I was at. And it just got to the point where I just felt stuck. And then back in 2015, I got the news that the brother of one of my best friends from college had suddenly passed away. And that news really affected me way more than I thought it would. You know, it really just made me realize more than ever that tomorrow really isn't promised and you never know when your last day on this earth could be. From then on, I made it my goal for 2016 to 
really figure out what I love to do and what would make me happy. And I made a promise to myself to go after it no matter what. I didn't want to live my last day on this earth knowing I was in a job that stressed me out or wasn't really bringing me as much happiness as I'd hoped it would be. I would want to have no regrets. And of course, you know, throughout the year I always came back around to Korea, but just like before, really no information to really give me any hope that this would be in the realm of possibility for me. <sighs> then, one day in July, at the end of July, I saw this Facebook post from one of my friends who I just met the year before. She had also applied for the EPIC program. She really just went on about how God really came through with her in her situation because she had so many setbacks into really going after what she wanted as well, which was to teach in Korea. But every setback she had, something would pull through and ended up being okay. I don't know what it was, but after reading it, something in me changed. Something in me was like, stop having your doubts. You know, if this is really what you're supposed to do, it will all work out in the end. So I read that post July 29th. The same day I decided to give Korea one last shot. The very next day, I finally found the research I needed to be confident that going to Korea was actually a possibility. I found that they had the same treatment I'm on here. I found that I would be covered under their national health insurance if, you know, I taught with the EPIC program. I even found a post of someone who was already in Korea that was going through the same thing and, you know, was able to live with her disease in Korea as an English teacher. All of these things I had never found before. But that day, I did. And that was all I needed to tell me that this is definitely something you go after. So August 1st, just two or three days later, Epic started accepting their applications for spring 2017. And that's when I put in my application to Greenheart. Well, I put it in a month later because I had some stuff to do. Um, just essays to write, forms to fill out, all of that. But after that point for me, there was no looking back. And that's where we are today. You know, I'm officially accepted into the program. I just got my placement, which is in Tegu. I'm, I hope I said that correctly. I'm still working on my Korean. So I don't have everything figured out at this point, but I at least have a start. A lot of it I won't figure out until I get to Korea. So I really, you know, just need to hold on to that hope that everything is going to work out. And honestly, I've never been more confident about a decision and a life path. And the reason I share this with you guys today is I wish there was a video like this or a post like this when I was in my search, you know, um, for the answers I needed to follow my dream. I hope this brings comfort, this inspires someone to not give up, to have hope that if it's meant to be, you know, it will pull through for you. So yeah, I hope you guys continue my journey with me. I definitely plan on vlogging more as I transition into South Korea and as I'm living there. So if you have any questions for me, please leave a comment below and I'll make sure to answer um, as soon as I can or even in a future video of mine. So have a great rest of the day. You guys are great and see you later.